on KTRX. It is 8.52, Jake Hansler, Kelly Jackson. I am so very lucky to be able to do this for McGraw-Millhaven. Yes. Um, I get to meet the greatest people, and, and one of them is my hero, my hero, Ted Drew, uh, joining us here from the infamous Ted Drews, and Travis Dillon also. Uh, now, it says here that former owner and current owner. Is that right? That's right, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you are the current owner? That's correct, yes. Uh, but we all know uh, Ted Drew from his uh, commercials and uh, from yes. seeing your smiling face at the, uh, <laughs> uh, at the, at the locations. Is there anybody um, ever anywhere in St. Louis that hasn't heard of Ted Drew's? I can't imagine. No, no. Uh, how long it's have like you the been? arch. Yeah, that's right. If, you know? you, if you're from St. Louis, you know about Ted Drew's. How long have you been in business? Well, my dad and mom... Uh, started out in 1929 with the Royal American Shows, and uh, the next spring they opened on Natcher Bridge and uh, in Pine Lawn, which was a few blocks from our home. And uh, I got an early start when I was, I guess uh, I was seven or eight years old, and my job was to pick up the trash. <laughs> and uh, I still, remember how uh, I was so excited to be have a job yeah. but boy it was hot in 1936 and uh, that that was it rivaled this year oh uh, the heat wise sure. yeah oh. well, and then and on those hot summer evenings where do we all head we head to Ted Drews, Ted Drews uh, two locations um, so Travis, wait, so when, yeah. uh, I just got to ask you though, when you started doing that at the age of seven, have you had any other job? Has it always been well, for the family business? Well, uh, in the winter time, I, when I was first married, I had to do something mm -hmm. and uh, in the winter. And so I held various, various jobs. One was a uh, full of brush man. So I, <laughs> I had my uh, fill of uh, sales work and that was really a good experience. Yeah. Uh, and I worked in a factory, and I delivered cleaning, and so I knew what was the work. Mm -hmm. Yes. 88 years of serving up some of the, the greatest, wow. greatest uh, custards in the world. Are you the genius behind um, all of these uh, the various flavors? Well, I do think that maybe it gets to the point where it overwhelms you. Uh, every time we add a flavor, uh, Travis, what's the new one? It's called the Mildred. Yes, uh, oh. it's it's really a good combination, uh, butterscotch and pecans. And, mm. and mm. the butterscotch was around, obviously, I think, from the very beginning, right, Ted? Oh, yeah. And it's a great combination. But who okay so who determines the, the the latest greatest flavor do you guys sit back there and kind of whip different ingredients together and say okay or what's the best seller well over the years we at this time of year when we get a chance this past week we haven't but we mm -hmm. try to put some flavors together that a lot of people would enjoy as a good combination mm -hmm. and but we also try to take something away because Ted was might have been saying that Every time we add something, it makes it more complicated. <laughs> yes. We have more flavors. Well, and that's true, because if you've ever been to Ted Drew's, the line moves very quickly, but there's mm -hmm. always a line there. And if you have 100 flavors there to look for, you're kind of going through that process. Now, me, I don't like change. I go with the, the, the concrete, the, the Heath concrete every time, um, and I'm, I'm satisfied. Mm -hmm. But my family, you know, they like to, to sample the various uh, flavors. The, the Ted Drew's is now open. Is that right? Oh, yes. And for this, the season. Uh, last Sunday, you were swamped, weren't you? We were indeed, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, now, give the, tell us again the two locations. Some people, I, I always go to the Chippewa location mm -hmm. uh, because it's right. closest to my house, but there's also a second location. There's one on Grand Avenue, and then that's really a neat one. Uh, I spent my first 10 years there, and I really like the store. It's so. Uh, it's small and cozy, but yet you can work in it very easily and give good service there. Yeah. 
I love the stories about your employees. I mean, you are the kind of business, the St. Louis-based business, not only do you provide the greatest um, desserts, the kind of uh, custards, treats in the world, but you treat your folks um, who work for you better than almost anyone in town. Talk a little bit about how you got going, um, you know, down that road. Well, uh, it starts with respect. You have to respect every single person that comes up to uh, buy frozen custard. And uh, I guess uh, empathy comes in. You have to treat everyone, every customer, as if they were, well, uh, the governor of this <laughs> great state of Missouri. Uh, and you never know how really important it is to treat that next customer right. right. And, uh, oh, boy, I learned that the hard way uh, when I was delivering cleaning. Uh, there was one customer that really, uh, she really was a lousy customer. And then I found out when we lost our best customer, the the lady that had cleaning every single week it turned out that that was her mother yeah and and meanwhile uh we had tr treated her mother shabbily and That's unfortunately right. we lost our best customer right you're talking to ted drew and travis dillon from Can the, I, the uh, ted drews one more thing uh, i want to mention something you guys got the highest honor ever voting you voted the best ice cream place in the world but yet you're custard, frozen custard. So that's a right. huge honor. It is a great honor. We feel just tremendous about it. And uh, what do you do when you they say you're the best in the world? That's tough because it makes you work harder to try <laughs> to reach, <laughs> reach some what close. Yes. The, so, yeah. Travis, you wrote the name of the company down. Yes. Sul Nua World Ice Cream Index, Best Ice Cream Shop th Contest. And uh, they are in Dublin, Iowa, yes. Ireland. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Everybody get out to Ted Drew's. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Ted Drew, Travis Dillon, KTRS, The Big 550.